check this out this is a windows optimizer called sparkle and i haven't seen any windows optimizer that looks this good and this thing not only looks good this is actually a good windows optimizer so this thing is still in beta and i can see this optimizer becoming one of the best windows optimizer out there so this is the official website for sparkle yes they have the official website going on here and yeah this is a free and open source windows optimizer so this is the official github page from here you can learn more about it and you know inspect the codes and everything you know about the open source softwares right and this is in active development it was updated two days ago so you can download this windows optimizer from github and then go to releases and get the latest version or you can go to the official website and click on the download link and there is also a github link and again to be honest this is one of the best looking windows optimizer out there and it has the potential to become the best windows optimizer out there so let me show you guys how this windows optimizer works and some unique features of this so this is the dashboard here you get the system information and you can also see how many optimization settings that you have changed so right now active is zero but there are 20 optimizations that i can do so if we go into tweaks section here we'll find many options to optimize our windows we also have the categories if we go into the performance here you'll find options to optimize your windows and we have privacy it's the privacy related the telemetry and everything gpu yes there is even a gpu related optimizations that you can do with this so this will optimize your gpu and then we have a cleaner section this is a place where you can do a system cleanup so we have a temporary file cleanup option i'm just loving how clean this thing is actually i can't believe this is a free and open source stuff <laughs> yeah i mean this looks so clean yeah you can do a uh, temporary file cleanup just run the cleanup okay you can clean the prefetch files you can also clean windows update cache files you can also empty the recycle bin which we can do from the desktop but these three are actually pretty good options to quickly clean up uh, most of the windows temporary files it's actually good okay and then we have a backup section this is one of the best thing about this application here you can create a backup of your system before optimizing your windows so if anything goes wrong you can undo all the changes so here i tested this and created a backup i can delete it okay so we can simply click on backup we can give it a name whatever you want okay it's, i'm gonna give it that the backup is completed here we have a couple of options we can delete the backup and we can also see the location of the backup okay and we have the restore button so basically again if anything goes wrong after you've done a optimizations you can restore your system back to normal okay this is actually pretty good so no matter what settings you change you can get it back if you have the backup created and it's always recommended to do some kind of backup before doing a windows optimization so this tool has built-in backup system next we have utilities these are all the commands that you can run manually through the command prompt but you can just use this without any command prompt you basically have the gui similar to Wintoy. it's one of my favorite windows optimizer out there and we have apps section here you can install applications browsers multimedia communication games think of this as a quick way to install essential applications on your system okay and if you go into the settings here you can change some settings for this application and more settings are coming soon so again as i said this thing is in beta let's get back to the tweaks this is where you do the main optimization stuff so we can deep load windows we can just simply click on apply and it will remove all the bloat from your system automatically okay you don't have to do anything it will launch powershell okay and you can actually see what are the things it's removing that's another good thing and all the apps that it's removing from the system can be downloaded from the microsoft store so you can see it's actually removing a lot of bloat from the system yeah almost all the bloats are gone <laughs> my start menu is also empty actually <laughs> if you need something back you can open the microsoft store and download them back if you want them 
okay so this is how the deep loading thingy works you can also disable game bar if you don't use it it is for the performance or you can go to the performance section here you can do the performance related tweaks you can also enable ultimate power plan you can also disable copilot if you don't use it apply nvidia settings if you have an nvidia gpu it will optimize your nvidia gpu so i don't have a nvidia gpu here so it's going to give me the error because there is no nvidia gpu this is a vm and some of the optimizations require a reboot so you'll have to reboot your system you can go to privacy section here you can do the privacy related optimizations like disable location tracking like why would you need a location in your pc nobody uses it. at least i don't use location i always disable it <laughs> manually actually so you know so there are many other things that you can uh, enable and disable i can actually see this becoming a really good windows optimizer actually and they even have a website which actually looks pretty cool i think the dev of this app is actually serious about making this a good windows optimizer okay yeah there is even one of my favorite uninstaller recommended here bulk crap uninstaller this is also free and open source application this is the one that i actually use to uninstall apps from my system yeah it does have some really good options like optimize nvidia settings yeah this one can be really useful i actually don't optimize my nvidia settings manually because there are many settings that needs to be changed i can actually see myself using this and then test out the game performance and everything okay and uh, yeah uh, the deep load section is also pretty good that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this windows optimizer again in my opinion it not only looks good it actually works really well it has some really good options to optimize your windows yeah uh, if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye